Hey everyone, how's everybody doing today? Uh, it's good old Peter here coming at you. Um, I just got back from uh, doing a little bit of shopping with my wife. Um, we, she had to return a few items uh, from a few places. We had to stop at Tractor Supply, of course, to get the dog food. Um, and she touched on something too that made sense. I want to do a video on dog food. Sounds kind of silly, huh? But it's really not. Um, if you're any kind of a dog lover and dog enthusiast like myself, you probably would be interested in this video. And I want to do a video on dog food, um, and quality dog food. You know what I mean? Um, what I think or top quality dog foods on what I feed my dog and, and premium dog foods because what you feed your dog is probably one of the most important things that you could do for your dog when you get a dog. One of the very most important things you could do for your dog right off the gate is what you're feeding that dog and putting into its system. Um... Vitamins, protein, um, quality stuff is where it's at. You know what I mean? And yes, it costs a little bit more money. But, 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 big but, in the long run, your dog will strive. Will strive. We're going to leave it there. Um, we're going to do a video on... Um, I'm going to do this video on dog foods and, 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 you know, what I think is the top quality uh, products that are out there right now and what I feed my dogs. And um, that's going to be a video. So, nevertheless, let's get on. <clears throat> Excuse me. I was at, like I just said, I was at the Tractor Supply. And if you guys are near a Tractor Supply, I highly recommend just popping in. Just whoop, pull in for a minute, go back to the counter, go back to that spinny glass thing, and just look in there and see what they have available. Because it's always changing, it's always different, you never know what you're going to find in there, um, it, you know, it's, it's, it's good. So I was in there and I found this little devil here, um, this is like uh, 30, yeah, 30 bucks. You're looking at a Baron Sons little rosewood lockback. And um, guys, I tell you right now, I couldn't be happier. I couldn't be happier. Now, um, my wife and after we exchanged uh, what she had to do and we went to the tractor supply, we were so hungry we didn't eat. So we went out and grabbed something to eat. And the whole time this was on my mind about doing what I wanted to do with this knife and doing a video. Now, I, when when I got it, the action and it was just gr gritty. It was not so great. Uh, so, But I knew I could make all that different. Just a little cleaning, flushing it with some KPL a couple times. And it just came to life. Um, it's it, I'm pissed off because I didn't keep the napkin on what I got out of this knife. That's why I stress with these budget knives, okay, you have to clean them when you first get them. Just clean them. Flush the pivots. Get that napkin down in that channel. Clean it out. Clean, clean, clean until you don't see any grit and dirt coming off of that napkin. Then you're good to go. Then what I recommend is simply, which I didn't do to this one yet, but I'll show you guys later. Take out your strop. Take out your strop and strop the blade a few times. Wake that blade up. And oh my goodness, it becomes viciously sharp. That's it. You just have to do a couple of things just to make them, ah, uh, you know, just... Great. So this one's halfway there. Um, this is a rosewood um, covers on this, which I still got some cleaning up to do on it. I'm really not totally satisfied with it. 
Um, you've got this beautiful little clip blade here, man. And this just drew me in, really. Honest to God, this clip blade, some clip blades are done. You think all clip blades are the same, but they're really, really not. I'm telling you, they're not. Like, this clip blade is just cut so deep. It's just cut so deep. And the point on this thing is just ungodly. Now, that clip blade is awesome. In my eyes. I'm just saying, in my opinion, that clip blade is fantastic. Um, <clears throat> you got these awesome nickel silver at bolsters, right? And it comes up against these nice rosewood covers beautiful little rosewood covers you're getting um just really really nice a, a nice piece really attractive on the eye that is super super attractive to me in my opinion on the eye um just a great little piece um the only thing I do have to do is um, finish, oh man, finish stropping. Every time I mention it again and again, I'll mention it in every video. Clean your blades when you get them through, your knives. Clean them thoroughly. Um, they need it, guys, from the factory. Get all in this channel. Clean it all out. Um, then after you're done cleaning your blade, just strop it. That's all you have to do is strop it. They become so sharp. I'm telling you, they become awesome. The action, it wakes it up. Um, and your knife and you will be happy once you do these things. Um, this one centering is really nice. I looked at a couple of them in the store. That's the advantage you have on going to a store and looking at them, okay? Um, now, the quality or the fit and finish on Bear and Son is hit and miss, you know what I mean? So if you purchase a Bear and Son knife... You know, you got to keep your fingers crossed. You really do. Because it, what, in my experience, Baron Sun has not really been the best fit and finish that I've got, that I have um, witnessed or have I've gotten. Um, but this one here um, is good because I picked it. You know what I mean? Transitions right here are fantastic. Um, centering is very, very appropriate to me. I couldn't ask for anything more than that on a $30 knife. Um, like I said, fit and finish is really good. Action is coming along just fine. I got the KPL working in it. Now, the back spring here, you got some gappage there, which if you're going to complain about that, Right there. If you're going to complain about that and bitch about that on a $30 knife, then just step it up to a more expensive knife. You know what I mean? Um, if that's bothering you that much, that doesn't bother me. When that blade rubs against that scale and I shut it and I hear it clanging against the uh, my covers, that bothers me. Um, but just, I mean, a great, great looking Great looking little lockback, and I highly recommend it. I mean, if you could take a chance on it and order it um, through the mail, um, you know, you may, you probably get a good one. You know what I mean? But I'm just saying, in my experience with Baron Son, the fit and finish has not been that good. So, um, I still recommend it. You know what I mean? I think it'll be just fine. Especially for 30 bucks, you know what I mean? It's not going to kill you. Send it back or do something with it, you know what I mean? If you're that unhappy with it. And I don't think that you will be. I, I really don't. But, um, 
You got these beautiful uh, rosewood uh, covers. They really look attractive. The knife really looks, you know, you could put it, it looks expensive. You know what I mean? The knife looks elegant. The knife looks, you know, it's a very, very gentleman carry piece here. Extremely gentleman carry piece. You know what I mean? You stick this on top of your watt like, let's see. You, um, you're out with the, uh, wife or whatever, or in your motel room, or you come home, oops, there's your wallet, um, set that right on top of your wallet, next to your nightstand, what do you think that looks like, guys, how's that look, that looks pretty darn nice, don't it? Don't that look nice? I think it looks fantastic. Fantastic. It's a beautiful, beautiful little piece. Little gentleman carry piece. So, um, yeah. Let me know what you guys think about this little Baron son. Uh, because I couldn't be happier with it. And after I get off this video, I'm going to go ahead and strap it up and bring that edge uh, get that edge all cleaned up, nice and shiny, and um, finish cleaning it. And I think I'll have a winner. I really do. Um, really, really happy with it. Um, highly recommend uh, this piece. Let me know what you guys think. Good old Williams Knife Life. Let me know, buddy. Thrifty. Thrifty Kniffy. Let me know, buddy. Let me know what you think about this piece. Nice little uh, gentleman, uh, little gentleman lock back here, guys. Let me know, guys. Uh, I'm digging it. All right, guys. I'm not going to keep you. Uh, be good, be well, be safe. And uh, we'll see you guys soon on the next one. Take care. Bye-bye.